It's not easy being female. So about 60 to 70% of all of my patients are women. It's not that men don't need functional medicine when I do, it's that they think they don't, or they're too tough to need it. Working a woman's body, maybe that's not the right way to put it. A woman's body works a little bit like this control panel behind me. There's a lot of things to consider when we're addressing a woman's health. A guys is a little bit more like uh, that Staples commercial that's got the simple button. Right? You push the button and things start working again. Maybe it's not quite that simple, but you kind of get the idea. Women suffer from the hormonal ups and downs each month and through puberty and then through menopause can range from mildly irritating to downright debilitating. Although many, if not most, women suffer from some degree of PMS, premenstrual syndrome, the extreme health and mood imbalances associated with PMS and menopause are a sign of your system out of whack, often due to stress, among other issues. But in this blog, we're talking about stress. So hormone balance is very sensitive to stress, inflammation, toxins, poor diet, sleep deprivation, lack of exercise, too little sunlight, and other common factors in modern life. Because the reproductive hormones play an important role in brain health, mood, and brain inflammation, when they're imbalanced, brain function and mood suffer. In women, imbalances are characterized by excess estrogen, insufficient progesterone, or too much testosterone. Both stress and blood sugar that is either too low, hypoglycemic, or too high, insulin resistance, are the most common culprits of PMS syndrome and miserable menopause transitions. And I'd like to point out that hot flashes and menopause symptoms are not the cause are not due to deficient hormones. It's fluctuations in hormones. Hormones are going up and down too much and you have no steady state and you get these hormone uh, fluctuations and hot flashes. That's what causes it. Some symptoms of hormone imbalances in women include frequent or irregular menstruation, mood instability, depression, problem sleeping, changes in weight or appetite, crying easily, uh, irritability, poor concentration, anxiety, fatigue, low libido, migraines, and a variety of other issues. Too many to mention, actually. So one of the more common reasons for hormonal imbalance is low progesterone caused by chronic stress. I should say progesterone slash pregnenolone. This is a mechanism called pregnenolone steel, which I'll have to show you in another blog where you can really see it. So pregnenolone steel, or progesterone steel, is when chronic stress robs the compounds needed to make progesterone and instead uses those to make the stress hormones cortisol. This leads to PMS and sets the stage for miserable menopause transition. When it comes to stress, the brain doesn't know whether you're angry at traffic, soaring and crashing after consuming a glazed donut and triple shot caramel latte, or narrowly escaping being trampled by a bison or chased by a lion. All it knows is to prepare for fight or flight and that the reproduction hormones can wait until things have come, settled down. But for many sleep de deprived, overstressed Americans fueled on caffeine and sugar, settling down rarely happens. This leads to an overproduction of cortisol and a decrease in pregnenolone and or progesterone leading to a decrease in your end product hormones, particularly testosterone and your estrogens. So the fix isn't necessarily a tub of progesterone cream. First, address the sources of stress. A primary stress buster is stabilizing blood sugar. People either eat too infrequently or too sparingly, or they overeat and eat too much sugar. Both are stressful for the body. Here are some other common causes of chronic stress that lead to miserable PMS and menopause. Sugars, sweeteners, starchy foods, such as rice, pasta, breads, and etc and too much caffeine. Another cause are food sensitivities, or eating things that your body doesn't necessarily agree with. Even though you may not notice it right away, this is a chronic stress or insult to your body. Kind of think of it as like Red Rover, right? You're, you can hold on to your friend's hands for only for so long, and eventually after somebody running into your hands, they're gonna break that. It's a form of stress. Some common food sensitivities include gluten, dairy, eggs, corn, soy, nuts, and grains. The next thing is leaky gut and gut inflammation symptoms, or IBS, IBD. This also inclu includes gas, bloating, indigestion, heartburn, 
diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain, and irritable bowel. Other forms of stress are sleep deprivation, pain and inflammation, so such as joint and muscle pains, skin rashes, respiratory issues, brain fog, fatigue, depression, rheumatoid arthritis, which brings up our next cause of stress, autoimmune issues, such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, lupus, scleroderma, RA, MS, all kinds of stuff. Number, I don't know, six, seven, something like that. Overdoing it, over-exercising, and not taking time for yourself. You gotta take a break and unwind and relax. And last but not least, certainly not least, bad diet of junk foods, fast foods, and processed foods. <clears throat> so some ideas to halt pregnenolone steel include an anti-inflammatory diet, stabilizing blood sugar, super important, restoring gut health, dampening pain and inflammation, and managing autoimmunity. These are the functional medicine basics. Make sure you're eating the right amounts and kinds of essential fatty acids. Additionally, certain botanicals are effective in supporting female hormone health and the body's stress handling systems. I've included some links to some of the more common hormone balancing supplements we use in my office, as well as some of what we call adaptogens. These basically help your body deal with either high or low levels of cortisol, which depending if you, what stage of adrenal fatigue you're in, you can have high and or low. So go take a chill pill. Take a day away from the kids, take a day off of work and go have a day to yourself. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy.